and we're back once again and I'm going to be going over effects uh, effect racks and your macros to uh, do multiple things at once with one knob and how to patch everything together so what I'm going to do is load up a MIDI instrument silence one indeed so yeah I'll, I'll, I will turn off the arpeggiator so we have a sound here and what I want to do is I want to put that into a space and the best way to do that is with reverb reverb is basically putting something into a space uh, and then having that sound bounce off walls right and a delay is kind of it's uh it's two things it's uh basically every u2 song known to man uh but also it takes a signal and then it repeats it so i won't use ping pong because that's more stereo this is also stereo but it doesn't ping pong so what it does is it, it they used to do this with tape They'd have the record head and uh, record something, and then there would be uh, a multiple like uh, heads after that. So you'd hear the sound, and then it would repeat. So basically, like that. So that's always fun. Um, and what you can do afterwards is. Uh, add a chorus. Chorus is basically doubling the sound. Doubling it and then um, changing uh, the the distance between the left and right. Uh, making it sound wider. And that's all well and good. Uh, flanger and phaser. Uh, it's also doing that, uh, but um, you have kind of a fundamental that pokes through and you do it like so and the more poles the more intense it is right so we have that so what I'll do is kind of draw in some MIDI. I'm just gonna draw something in. Why not? Okay. So, what I want to do is I, w I don't want to have all those effects going on at the same time. So, what I'm going to do is create an effect rack and this is a useful kind of thing to kind of tuck it away and only show uh, what's important so you select them all with shift and clicking on them to highlight them so they're all blue you right click and then you group right and then you have this little thing here so uh, what you do is you have that you have this little knobby thing you got macro one through eight so what I want to do is I want to link the wet dry of the delay and the reverb to one knob and I do that by right clicking right clicking and then there you have it right you right click and then you map to macro one right and now what I can do is double click and forget about those and then the chorus I'll put on four right so I will map the wet dry to four, wet dry to wet dry. Right, that's a that's a simple way of kind of doing that. Um, and then you have um, you could do that. We'll take that away. I'll show you something else. Uh, you can have a simple delay and then another delay. Now this is a this is kind of a fun trick. You group these, 
right? But you set the delay time to just uh, um, one uh, section, one delay, right? You have that. You turn off sync so it's not synced, and then you can map the delay time. This is really fast, so right. So a super fast delay. You can map that to one, and then map the wet dry to the same one. Then map the wet dry of the other ping pong delay to macro one. So you have all of these being moved, and it's kind of an interesting effect. Right, and then you can have that right afterwards, and then you can even uh, we will collapse that. We'll group all these, right? So now we can get kind of confused here. Map these all of these parameters to macro one. So all of these parameters now, gets kind of confusing, are mapped to this one macro. So you get some weird stuff going on there. Um, uh, generally, uh, each effect, uh, okay, there's how I look at it. Um, that's audio effects. We're done. How I look at it is there. There are uh, a few different types of effect effects. Um, uh, there's mixing effects, which are uh, processing uh, uh, effects. So there's the EQ, compressor, um, chorus would be another one. Limiter would be another one. Uh, the glue, of course. Uh, multiband dynamics. Uh, reverb is a good one. Saturator also. Um, and those would be uh, the processing. These are what I use for processing, right? Uh, saturator also color. But uh, the EQ for sculpting your sound, taking out the low end. Um, enhancing the mid to high end, giving crispness, crispness, um, saturator, uh, could be, uh, to make something poke through the mix a little bit more, and it could also be in the other group of plugins, uh, the compressor, naturally, um, uh, adding, <clears throat> adding dynamic control, uh, making something punchier, uh, Delving into a, a compressor is, you know, a, takes years to figure out in relation to every single track you make and every single track in your track. Uh, reverb, putting it in a mix, smearing it, um, kind of uh, giving it a space, widening it, of course. Uh, multiband dynamics, I don't use it that much, but I'm sure it, it applies. Uh, it compresses the, the low, mid, and high and uh, kind of smooths things out. Uh, there's better plugins that go about this. The Waves Q6, and even the Ozone Dynamics processor. It's all fun. Chorus, widening it, very nice. And uh, the Glue, kind of a retro modeled compressor. And the limiter, making sure nothing goes above a particular amount. Um, and yeah, that would be the processing. Um, effects, no, we'll go, so there's, there's processing, EQing, compression, um, making the sound poke through the mix. Uh, here we have color. And color, um, would be an amplifier, for example. Um, the cabinet, yeah, sure. Uh, compressor, I'm going to add that too, I'll explain why. Uh, dynamic tube, soft saturation, EQ8 can also add color, indeed. 
Um, 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 um. Uh, overdrive, yes, that adds color. Redux, it's a bit crushing effect. Uh, saturation. And I guess vinyl distortion, we'll add those in there. Just because they're there, you really shouldn't use them. But you should try to figure out what they do. So the amp, it's modeled uh, from a guitar amplifier. Um, it adds color, it adds like, you know, Jimi Hendrix style stuff. Uh, the cabinet, yeah, it, uh, emulates the microphone to the speaker of the cabinet. And you can select your double stack or your huge bass or four stack. Uh, a compressor, a compressor can also add color. If you crank the ratio up and you bring it down, it really kind of adds something neat uh, to your sound. And if you if you want to hear that effect, uh, listen to the Justice album, uh, Cross. Um, they use a lot of parallel compression, which is wet, dry, mixed. It's all good and fun. Uh, dynamic tube. Uh, think of this as uh, the saturator, but it's more of a tube. It's uh, it's complicated. It's uh, kind of a kind of a bias. No, it's uh, emulates those big vacuum tubes that are expensive and rare now, but not really rare. And it adds uh, it's analog modeled. It's really underrated. I use it sometimes. Vinyl distortion, yeah, hiss and crack. Um, right, can add something fun. Uh, saturator, uh, you kind of go into these uh, soft uh, clipping modes and uh, yeah, you just crank the bass up and you get some nice nice stuff. EQ8, the EQ8, uh, especially the previous ones, it adds some color, especially if you turn off oversampling. If oversampling is off, you can really uh, crank a bit in here and also you can add a bit of color by using mid side mode. This, um, this is not for all. A lot of this isn't for beginners, but this is mid side mode. This uh, splits the center image and the side image, and um, you can enhance the side and middle uh, frequencies independently. The redux it it's a bit crusher. You can uh, do the same thing. Uh, rendering your mp3s out at like 64 kilo kilobytes a second does the same thing in overdrive guitar amp so we have processing color and um, effects effects would be you know effects would be auto filter auto pan chorus these aren't these aren't color. These are effects. Um, uh, corpus would be an extreme effect. It changes the sound. Um, frequency shifter. Grain delay. Yeah, we'll leave that. Uh, phaser, reverb. Uh, both delays. I'll just put one in here. Um, and uh, vocoder. So basically, auto filter. It's a it's a basically a one pole EQ, but you can set an LFO to it so it opens and closes by itself. So it sounds like you're underwater. Um, <clears throat> drop it in and uh, give it a try. Auto pan, uh, the same kind of LFO, makes it go left and right, wishy washy, back and forth, um, and uh, not really an effect without the amount. Uh, chorus doubles it, doubles the sound. Um, simply, simply put, vocoder takes the input signal of another one and then does something weird to it, and you turn it into Daft Punk. Don't ask me how it works. Corpus, it does something weird. Uh, it's very unique. It can change a sound into like a tambourine. It's weird. Uh, the delay takes a the sound and repeats it over a cycle that you set. So quarter bar, full bar, you know, 16, wet, dry, and then the feedback. Reverb puts it into a space. Uh, reverb is, I use it a lot. Um, it's It falls into all three categories. It's really nice. Phaser does some weird space stuff. Uh, takes a signal, 
and then separates the the phase of the left and right and uh, stacks it up and does some weird frequency shifter uh, kind of like a it's a, obviously a ring mod too but it it's a kind of a, another way of warping and it's uh, really interesting how it works so yeah without rambling those are your effects audio effects uh, and how you make a rack uh, with a macro to do some really cool stuff and uh, do multiple things at once which help uh, make new sounds uh, and that's the tutorial for right now all right take care